Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPad app demo for Move the Turtle programming for kids. This application comes to us by Next is Great, is in the education category, is iOS Universal, meaning it works on the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, all for only $2.99. This education app uses a friendly, step by step graphic process to teach basic computer programming to kids as young as five years old and older. Here's the opening screen here. There are several chapter packs that we can tap here on play to go through. You can see this is obviously the beginner's pack with the baby rattle and the baby hat there and the uh, pacifier. So I've completed this, got my trophy. Go on to the next one, you have a little bit of magic and it gets harder. Obviously when you get to Professor Turtle you're doing some you're actually doing some pretty advanced programming, to be honest with you. You're actually programming a game where a turtle is actually going to help you. So we're going to go to number five. Um, uh, number five is re use it, or create a square, combine a repeat with move, and turn to draw a square. Now, we've gotten to this point from an earlier point where we were doing straight lines, and then we were doing colored lines, and we jumped over a river using a jump command. Pretty much everything has been straight. We've done a little bit of turning, but now we're going to do a repeat function to make a square. There's our turtle. My task is here. I can tap on that and I, I can tap on that if I need the instructions again which will come up. I can press OK. I can tap on there if I want to restart this task if I'm stuck and I could also tap on solution but I'm not going to tap on the solution just yet and they'll populate the solution over here in your little work area. Now here's where all your commands are. They currently have two commands that are already put in there. I'm going to tap here to add a command. They provide a little text bubble for me over here, add repeat command. So I'm going to tap there and add the repeat command. Now the repeat command is green. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the side here and it will let me drag it up to the top. I'm going to place it up to the top and now it's going to repeat going straight and turning. Now I just have to make sure my distance is correct and I know that 50 is not so I'm going to drag that to 100 and then currently while that arrow is to the right is dark that means it's going to go right I got to get the diamond because that's part of the gameplay of course so I'm going to tap over here to make sure that he, the turtle goes to the left and then I need more than just two repeats or I'll only have half a square so I'm going to make that four and then once I'm done I'm going to go ahead and tap play now before I do that there are three different speeds that you can have your turtle move in the game I'm going to leave the, the regular speed the middle speed is fairly fast and the third speed is just very fast and you can use those when you go farther when you're drawing some spiral spirals and things like that and you'll see what I'm talking about I'll show you that in some of the projects so tap on play and our turtle goes and gets the diamond we have success we have a perfect solution now I'm gonna tap next and they're gonna say save this program drawing a square for a procedure for later use and I'll say okay this is actually one of the tasks. It's draw. It's saving a, a, a procedure. So we're going to tap on the save button on the bottom left. We actually tap in here to give it a name. We'll use square. And then we're going to tap on save. Success. That was all that task was. So now we're going to be on to number seven. They want us to reuse the procedure command to draw a square. So you can see it continues to build upon what you're learning. I'll tap here to add the procedure and then it tells me which one to add. Uh, drawing a square, square, I could use that one. And if I press play, what happens? I drew a square, but it didn't go the right way. Uh, I didn't get the diamonds, so then I have to you know, figure out that that's not all I need. So I need to tap a command and I need a turn command. And I need to add the turn command to go left. And we'll go ahead and put that up here to the top and then let's see if that works so that did work we used a procedure that we had already done on how to draw a square we just changed the direction but we came up with a perfect solution that is the way this application this education programming app works now it's make some noise use sound command to play a sound so here all you need to do is tap here this is a very easy procedure again this is in the initial chapter so they're not that hard it says use a C plus it gives you the C plus there and you just drag the slider over to the C plus once you're done and you're successful so very easy in the beginning but let's just show you how it gets a little harder. And when you come back to the main area, you have a button called Compose. This is where you can create your very own programs. Now, it's currently set up to a musical, and I can play that. And it's just the, um, 
the octave, it's going from lower notes to higher notes. And then once it's done, that's if it's fine, I could clear this, I could save this. I could also tap here and you can see all the current commands that I have. I haven't even learned uh, position, variable, right, and condition. Again, it gets fairly complicated the farther you go, but the whole idea is to start off smaller and to build farther. Now here are the projects, and there are several projects in this application that have already been completed. Some need a little help to get completed completely, but I can tap on some of these and I can view them, and if I want to see what it looks like, I can tap there. I could go back here if that doesn't work, and I can do a simple spiral view, tap on there, and he'll draw a spiral. Now we can increase the speed like I showed you and he'll do it very fast. And that's what they're trying to teach you on how to do. Again, some of the projects, you need to figure out how to complete those projects. But this is one that went all the way through. It was a simple spiral. And this is one part of a program which you could meld in by making it. Or it is a procedure. you got a simple spiral there. And then it's added. It uh, looks like a variable. And that's how that works. Again, you can see all the different projects that are here to toy around with and have some programming. Help is here. And you can compose programs using commands to move the turtle, tap play to learn how to control the turtle, so you tap play there, and you head there. If you tap on help again, okay, you can try it on your own. It's that simple. You can also change the user up here, default, or add crazy mics. I actually started it as the default. If I wanted to be crazy mics apps, it will save your progress at that user name. So you can add multiple users to this application, which again makes it great for a school environment. That's it for this iPad app demo for Move the Turtle. Until next time, this is Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's app saying see ya.